Hi. Okay, here I am again. I did two paintings in one day because I have my art pollutes this weekend and I need all my time um, tomorrow to do that. So I won't be able to paint. So I'm going to do it today, post it tomorrow. So we are going to paint a uh, moon with cherry blossom. So get your black out. Paint your canvas black. I'm going to just be painting on my sketchbook, not this one. That's going to be a free live paint night. So you don't have to have canvas, guys. You don't. I went to Mexico and I was doing these online parties and struggling to figure out how am I going to pack my canvas. Guess what? I don't have to pack canvas. So cool. All right. So first of all, you can either paint your canvas black or you can do what I'm going to do. Dirty water, dirty brushes. I'm going to take some white. Actually, I'm going to take some black. And I'm going to carve out my moon. Um, so I want the moon to be quite prominent in the center. So whatever size your canvas is, try to paint a circle. That's not bad <laughs> for freehand at all, I suppose. I'm so proud. So I don't want to keep going over and over and over this trying to cover up the black. So I do that first, then I'm going to paint the whole canvas uh, black. So this dries so fast because it's um, paper, believe it or not. Canvas is so much easier, but you can get it wet just to hurry the process along a little. So anyways, when I'm going to be traveling and I'm going to start doing some live events, possibly I'll be doing my Patreon thing when I'm in Mexico and stuff. So um, I'll just be bringing a sketch pad along. I bet this is a dollar store for crying out loud. It's super cheap. And then I always have all my paintings. I can still put this in a frame if I want. And hang them on my wall. Kind of a cool idea. Get the water in my back. And I could bring my sketchbook along with me where I go and I could just show people here's what I do on canvas. And you could have it as your brag book. Okay, now this should be dry before you move on to the next stage and I'm out in the garage and I do not have a blow dryer. So anyways, that is my moon shape. So I'm going to paint this white. So keep a little bit of black gets into it. Um, just move it around so it looks like craters. So I'm going to take the white and I'm going to paint this white. Let's start in the center. I'm going to make this pink too, so... You can put a lot of paint on here in a mix. So I'm going to get as close to the edge as I can without touching the edge. That way I'm not bringing too much black in. No rhyme or reason for how you get this on. Whoop, look at that. already got some black. I don't know how I did that. It's not too much, so I'm not worried about it. Now I'm going to go to the edge. Carefully go around the edge. If some black gets in like mine did, just sort of tap it around, make it into craters, work with it. Don't stress. So I take my brush and I sort of carve around like that so rather than going flat on it. So sort of sideways. Around the edge. Yes, you can do sound effects. Shh. Those are helpful. <laughs> Not really helpful. Okay, so there we go. Mine's all painted white. Now I'm going to really knock your socks off. I'm going to take a little bit of red. Tiniest bit of red. I'm going to make some pink. Nice light pink. And we're going to have a pink moon. So 
mixing with the white that's already on there. Doesn't matter how you get this on, just get it a shade of pink. We'll give it some dark bits and some light bits. And it's going to be pretty gorgeous. Pink moon. A little bit lighter right in this area here. So if you want to make it a little darker, you throw some darker bits, grab a little more red, mix it in there. And again, it's messy. Nothing neat about this. Look at that, I went straight red on because I have so much white. And get a color on there and then I'm just sort of chopping around with my brush making it messy, leaving it lighter right here. So if you took some darker, like, okay, I just have straight red on my brush now. If you took some red and went around like that, that section there, wiping that off now because it's too much, just so that you're leaving that part there. See how I'm just like tapping around and making it messy? Wipe your brush off, maybe go in with some straight white right here in the center. And tapping that out, messing that up out. There you go, you got your nice light mark right there. If it's too dark, if you made it too dark, you just go in with some straight white. Don't let it stress you out. Go in with some straight white, tap it around, mess it up. There you go. So with my pink that I had there, I'm going to take just a touch of black, just like a corner. Let me see that. Where is it? Just like that little corner of my brush. I'm going to take it in there just so it's a little bit darker, maybe a little bit darker. I'm going to create, but I want it to be pink tone. So a little bit of black, a little bit of red, more red. So a blacky red color. Um, wherever you feel like you might want to have some shadows, crater shadows. Just tapping it around, messing it up. It's your planet. It doesn't even have to be the moon. Maybe it's not. Maybe you can make up your own planet. But you can see that I've made it sort of cratery. Cratery. Oops. Should really play these back to see how the color translates with my light. Because I'm looking, what if I turn that right off? What does that look like? Ooh, dark. You guys want to paint in the dark with me? Nah, I don't want to paint in the dark either. But you can see better the color. Let's try. That's yellow light. I don't like yellow light. Let's move it. It's lighter in here, but there you go. That's nice. Hey, okay, so you can see that. I can't really see what I'm painting, but you guys can. Okay, so we're going to be painting um, a red or a pink, whatever you want. I'm going to go with red uh, branch that's going to swoop across here. So if you wanted it to be cherry blossoms, you're going to do it in the pink. Maybe you still want that to be just a little darker on the craters. Maybe I do. So I'm going to add more ready black. Ready, black, red, or some black. That's getting pretty dark. I just, I just really want to be able to see these. Okay, wipe that off. Don't want to have any paint on my brush, and I'm just gonna like take my brush flat, like painting with this side, not the tips or the side, and I'm just gonna sort of tap, blend that in. So it's not gonna be as dark as it just was. But you can definitely see some craterage going on, right? Love it. You guys are going to see in the end picture how pretty this, um, how pretty this moon looks. All right, so um, with your black, using your angle brush or your round brush, whatever you're more favorable to, whatever works better for you, we're going to be drawing motorcycle 
practically I'm outside. So we're going to have a branch that comes down. You can't really see it here underneath because um, you're going to go off the cage of the moon. But we're going to bring one that comes across here like that. So it's going to be across the moon. Stay here. I like it across the moon. And then there's going to be one that comes sort of on an angle like this. Bring this a little farther. Mm. It's going to be completely up to you where you want this to be. We can do the clusters and then um, we might have one coming up this way. We're going to have the clusters on here so you'll be able to. And again, this is up to you. It's just a suggestion of how I'm going to do it. So there's the branches. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to have one floating along here. See? I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Yeah, maybe one just comes across like that. Just as long as it comes through your moon a little bit. It doesn't have to go right off. Then we're going to bring one down over here. So, with your angle brush, get ready, guys. We're going to go with um, some straight red. Take and blobs of red. Blob. You guys know what I mean by blob? See what's sitting on top? Blob. I'm pretty literal. Blob. So we're going to create some clusters. They're going to be bigger here and they're going to get narrower as they go. <laughs> okay, start here with the cluster. So going over my branch. That's just, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because that's just um, a guideline for where you want these clusters. doesn't matter if the black mixes in. So just start blobbing. But make it a messy pattern. If you get too much black, don't worry about it. Just clean your brush off, move along. It'll look like a shadow, which is cool. And see how it's going to get narrower to the bottom. But look how messy. It's got a pattern, sort of. Sort of. I say it's, but the clusters are. It's not one straight, just cover the whole branch, looking like. You ever see that? Uh, those sugar candies where they have the stick and the sugar goes straight up both sides, the crystals of sugar, that doesn't look like this. What that looks like is this, and I can do it because I'm going to cover it over anyways. I see a lot of people do this, and they do their whole branch just like that, and then they leave it. They don't look the same, and you get a completely different effect if you let yourself get a little bit messy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to let ourselves get a little bit messy. by making our clusters. It's so dark in here, it's hard for you to see. Okay, so mess that up. If you're already there, you can still mess that up. Wipe off that black I just picked up. So. So it was looking like that, now it is not. So up here, maybe there's a little bit more here. There, a couple of little clusters. You can still see the branch, and I really don't want to see the branch. We're going to come out over this way, right off the page. Woo, bring in another cluster. But it's come from off the page. Wow, hey? That looks cool. So we are going to just finish this one off too. So we're going to start here with a cluster off the page coming onto this. Just a whole series of taps. Come through here. And then we'll start here and get a little weird. And this one here too. They're kind of viney, right? I love this. We're going to give it another color too, so don't worry. And then cluster it out. Maybe it maybe it overlaps to this one a bit. Cool. I'm going to do a little bit of branch show in there. Just because I can. OK. 
curl up, but in a way I want them all curling kind of up. That's how I'm feeling right now. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Okay, and then these branches here, this is going to come clustering. It's going to go off the page. Love it. Same with this one. Just a little bit off the page. But it's still weird. Okay, and here's where I wanted to go a little bit wider here with this one. And then I'm going to bring it around this way without a branch. Because if I do a black branch, you're not going to see that. So we're pretending there's one. And it starts about here. Sort of um, encasing the moon just a little bit, but leaving still parts of it showing. You can use your imagination there. Now, how do we make that glow? Well, I'll tell you. We take a little bit of white. And we're going to move all of our red over to it. And we're going to make a little bit of uh, a lighter, a lighter pink color. So it's lighter. If it's not noticeable enough, grab a little more white. So now it's going to be noticeably different than the red. We're not going to completely cover the red up. Um, we're going to sort of highlight parts of it. So let me highlight parts of it. So here's my messy redness. So if I go in here, say, oh, let's go in here with really. Do I notice that? Yeah, I do. So just along the top here, because the moon's shining its, its beams down on this. So leave the bottom. And maybe there's just some pink all by itself. Maybe you got some pink going on right here all by itself. You see what I mean? So you leave the dark underneath, then it's like the moon shadowing from the top. So you're going to do that on all of these. So make sure you have quite a bit of that pink. And plus it's going to pop more off the back of the black to this part here. You can trail off. Don't necessarily just have to stay right where your um, red is here. So I can throw a little bit, come down. Don't just do a straight line across the top. Mix it up. Go inside, down, up a little bit but go off your flowers and just have some pink ones kicking around in there. Make sure your trail is messy. Don't be too straight with it. Pretty. my teal tree that I did like this with the moon, but coming from the other side. I had the hardest time getting clusters. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's just mess. Just be messy. But that's why I said don't make it look like a sugar stick. Because they did. It always they just coat the whole branch. That wasn't the effect. It's just supposed to be messy. It's very dark in here, so it's hard for me to see what I've just done. But I like that. I think that looks great. So that's all there is to that painting. Um, my fingers have taken the black off. And I'm going to sign this one in pink. Because I can. I'm going to use the lighter pink. I mean, I guess I could sign it in white too, but I'd be overkill. I'm trying to save myself from getting all, <laughs> all those canvas paintings that I can't ever get rid of. I just have so many of them. Kick it around. Now, if you wanted to, you could throw some stars in there by watering down some white and flicking it. I, I kind of like the simple look of that. So, anyways, that is your painting. Let's flick it around here. Hopefully you guys can see me a little better because I turned off all my lights. It's now very, very dark in here. And here it is. Your cherry blossom moon painting. Hope you like it. I really do.
And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye for now.